Sheriff, I have a few points to go over with you. I found a receipt with the address of Dan Wilkinson's drugstore in Holton. Do you know the owner? Yeah. There aren't many pharmacies in Holton. It's a small town. If you could contact Wilkinson now and question him. See if he remembers the client. Time is of the essence. The FBI's wish is my command. Show me the receipt. I'll call Dan. Dan? Hi, it's Sheriff Halloway. I'd like some information on a receipt from your store. Okay, good. Thanks for your help. Tell Martha I say hi. Dan remembers a man in his 40s. Black hair. Says he seemed nervous, kind of in a rush. It's a bit vague, but it's better than nothing. Thanks for the info. I'd better call Claire to give her the killer's description. Confide in your old friend Claire. I think I have something new to help ID the killer. A Holton pharmacist vaguely remembers a customer who could very well be our man. About 40 years old, black hair. It's not much, but it will allow me to rule out some suspects. I'll enter it into my database. The local sheriff is causing me hassles. I have the feeling she's trying to undermine my investigation. Is this sheriff's name Halloway, by any chance? Yeah, you've heard of her? An hour ago. I got a phone call from a friend who works in the Portland lab. Sheriff Halloway has requested some tests of the utmost urgency. The sheriff claims she was working on Paloma Hernandez's disappearance. My friend called me because she knows that I've been in on the East Coast killer case from the start. Hmm. I think I should have a few words with the sheriff. Thanks for the tip. I'm looking for information on a case. An Anderson, male, who supposedly disappeared in Maine. Let me search the database. Ah, I got something. Gary Anderson, 39, a farmer. His wife reported him missing six months ago. The case has been closed by the Portland office. Everything suggests that the disappearance was voluntary. The investigators concluded that Anderson had an affair. He probably disappeared to build a new life with his mistress. Okay, Claire. Thanks for the intel. Talk to you later, Vic. Good luck. Sheriff, I have a few points to go over with you. Listen, Sheriff, I want this to be clear. I have proof that you sent samples to be analyzed without my authority. Here, it's the FBI who leads the investigation. If you forget that, or decide to ignore it, I'll break you. Take it easy, Agent McPherson. Sounds like I've touched a nerve. I don't have time to play who's the bitchiest. Believe you me, that is one contest you'll lose. So unless you want to be charged with obstruction of justice, I advise you to tell me what you found. Okay, okay. I took two samples, which I sent to the lab. They're yours. I also found this in the living room. It looks like some kind of electronic key. Very good. I hope I won't have any other occasion to lose my temper with you, Sheriff. We'll leave it at that, Agent McPherson. Hernandez told us about this crossbeam. Found some traces, but nothing too important. You're good at electronics, right? You might be able to help me. I found an electronic lock half dismantled upstairs. Come take a look. 
I think I might be able to open it, but it'll take me a while. I'll get there. I just need a little more time. I spoke to one of the cops who are searching the forest. He gave me the lowdown on Holloway. The sheriff is on edge. Elections are around the corner and she's not sure if she'll be reinstated to her post. So she doesn't appreciate the FBI's arrival in her jurisdiction, stealing the spotlight. Brilliant. We got a creepy house in the woods and a shifty sheriff. Man, I miss Chicago. Something here, but I can't see a thing in this light. The oil lamp's empty. I'm gonna have to fill it if I want some light. Shit. I hate playing with fire. No other choice. There we go. The lamp is lit. One more match and I would have cracked. Electronic lock. It keeps the door secured. This can't possibly work. Electronic lock. It keeps the door secured. Sentence. This weirdo is totally in character. I'm almost certain that there's something behind this blackboard. This coating seems very fresh. What are we trying to cover up? Counting book. It seems to be from the twenties. An out of order still. This cave was used to make moonshine. An out of order still. This cave was used to make moonshine. Shelves filled with bottles. They look empty. Probably wouldn't find any great vintages anyway. A furnace. Looks like it hasn't been used in a while.
That's it. The door's open. of chemicals. It's locked. This box has everything he needs to shackle the victims. No visible marks. Bad idea. It'll never work. There's a bit of blood on the box. Outfit like the one the killer wears. It's not my size. An autopsy table. Recently used. If Miller saw this, he'd faint dead away. Hernandez's blood. Shit, there's so much of it that does not bode well. Oh, this poor woman's body seems to have been here for a while. Ugh. One of her hands has been chopped off. This poor woman's body seems to have been here for a while. Ugh. One of her hands has been chopped off. Unbelievable. She's been dead for over 15 years. Why has this sicko preserved her body? This phone seems to be working. The computer's on. Security system worthy of the paranoid. Not surprising. Password protected. These are books on cinema. Hollywood's golden age. The cinema of the 40s. They all deal with the same era. Collection of animal skulls. Are these trophies or objects of study? Both, I guess. Hernandez's purse and lipstick. Looks like the lipstick was used to write with. Copies of autopsy reports on the killer's victims. They are addressed to Paloma Hernandez. The killer must have taken them from the motel room. A pile of retro music CDs. Oh, so nostalgic.
Looks like a few pages from a student thesis. No name, but it's on USC letterhead. USC's a university in Los Angeles, I think. I have to talk to Claire about this. It seems an interesting lead to follow. I'll get there. I just need a little more time. You're good at electronics, right? You might be able to help me. I found a computer, but the system's asking me for a password. That's more of IT's field. Hacking's not my strong suit. All right, I'll cope. <laughs> 